Excitement is contagious in Covington tonight as the Holy Cross football team celebrates its first state title. Nine News reporter Jessica Knoll reports there's something about young, starry-eyed football players achieving success that's instilling pride in everyone around. To be the best, it takes a community. Our kids walk in there, they see a Holy Cross t-shirt and they, they pat them on the back. You know, that goes a long way with a teenager these days. And it gives them a reason to be part of something and to work hard for a cause. They worked hard and now the Holy Cross Indians and the entire community are celebrating the football team's 33-14 victory over Glasgow, giving the 2A school its first ever state title. Go Indians! I want to do what they do. Try to win. Nick Stett is the youngest member of the winning team. Bring out the water, fill them up, and bring them out to the floor. The third grade water boy is just one part of what makes up Coach Kozerski's team. A single hour is easily broken, but not a bottle of eleven. Stick together, you can promise anything you want. We wouldn't accomplish anything if we were individuals. We had to work as a team to do our jobs. We had to work as a group, as a unit, as a machine. The water boy knows the secret of a winning team. Work hard. A good motto considering he hopes to be the future quarterback. In Covington, Jessica Knoll, 9 News. The team was honored with both a proclamation from the mayor and the renaming of 36th and Church to Champion Square.